Greetings, family. Greetings to every one of us. Hope we all are doing great on this wonderful, glorious, set apart day once again for you and I to circle around the Yehovah's eternal blessed throne and to just listen to what he has to say to you and me concerning this very trendy event among the Edo Saba space. So I want to look into it ever since, you know, Michael's mother granted that interview. I was so busy, you know, to touch on a little part of it. But thank Abayewa today that, yes, that chance has been given to touch just on a little, just small, small, little, little, you know, touch. But my main focus today is this woman, ma. Okay. Look at a man, look at a woman. So it, it's the other way around. Before, I don't look into your ugliness, okay? I don't look into your ugliness. Because a beautiful heart should have be a beautiful soul. Or rather, a beautiful soul should have be your appearance. Should have be, you know, the ultimate sight you carry for all to see. Regardless of your appearance physically. So what matters should have be, what matters should have be your beautiful soul. But when your beautiful soul expected to be to be a beautiful soul became ugly, so therefore we're gonna be seeing how ugly you are physically. Before I don't care about how you look like a man on the physical, I thought you were a beautiful soul. I thought you were a wonderful soul. I thought you were a relaxed and preserved soul. But I got it wrong. When I began to see all this, your dubious character, this your witchcraft manipulation, this your spell casting, this your enchantment on the social media, therefore I now begin to say, oh, she's so ugly. Now with, with all my heart, I can say you are a ugly woman. Mm? So you make me now to begin to look into your ugliness. So I don't have a proverb that say a ho see. Okay, a ho ho see. But a ho managi o say therefore your ugliness ugliness will be addressed. You know we walk horion warrior warrior now away in like manner. Your soul is also so ugly. You, you you miss the two. You are so dark in your heart. You are also as just as your face is so ugly. Not just only your face, up to down. Your upper down is so ugly. That is what you got in the east side. Yes, out of the abundance of heart, the mouth will, will definitely speak. So your reaction, your appearance. Your totality has already spoken about who you are in the east side. I pray Abba Yehwa deliver this family from your spare. It is always my prayer in his mighty name. Thank you Abba, I love you so much. Yes, because I know you, 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 you are concerned about this family of four. That is the reason why you keep saying, talk about this area. Talk about that area because you want to lose your people from the band of the wickedness. You want to set them free from the yoke of bondage. Inflated in them through the agent of Satan called Mama Kevi. Thank you, Abba Yehovah, that you are not just here or talking about it for talking's sake. No, you want to do something about it. You want to restore, you want to rebuild, you want to reunion. Reunite them back together. Thank you, Abba. Bless your holy mighty name because you alone has the final say in every situation that comes our way. I just love you, Abba. Thank you for your set apart spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh, thank you for your set apart word. King Yahushua HaMashiach, the very two pillar you used to build this very, very, very wonderful kingdom. Wonderful, everlasting kingdom. The kingdom that can never pass away. Your kingdom of, of truth, it is eternal. That was why you said, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. People will be liberated. 
Kelvin, no, uh, Michael, and the uh, sister love it, and the uh, Ufoma, and the uh, Ajiro will be liberated, will be delivered from the spell of this summer agent of Satan. That is perfectly, in a very cunning way, crooked and subtle way, doing the will of our Father. Thank you, Abba, for your concern about your people, your concern for your people. To you be all glory in your mighty name. Amen and amen. All right, now, family, we want to do what we are here today. We want to touch on this very part again, that Mama Kevy, she's, so, she's, she's so insecure, hiding her name, hiding her family, there, there's something in you that is dark. People that, that, you know, evil people always, you know, feel so, they, they have this insecurity, sense of insecurity around them because they are not pure, because they are not free-minded people. They always have this dark side in their skin, you know, in their, in their couch or in their cupboard that they don't know, they don't have, they don't want no one to see. This woman is hiding her real name. She's hiding her mother. The very one she sent to go and lay a cause upon precious Meg that spoke out against this taboo, this indecent art of this uh, of them. She's hiding her family. There's still one more to do because marriage is it, marriage carries this power of Trinitarian. Okay? Marriage carries this power of Trinitarian. It's a, it's the glory of Trinity is found in marriage. You can't just go and do cut wedding and say it is done. That is a pure lie. Marriage begins from tradition. The, the, the father writes, the mother writes. In fact, you see that little whatever change they put on your head it is it carries weight i bet your was honor it's so so great and white wedding that is ours let me tell you in the foundation of marriage it has three pillars the very first pillar it is simply traditional rights Traditional rights, Abba Yawa recognized that his finger is there. Afterwards, heavenly rights. Heavenly rights, which is Abba Yawa. He that found a wife, found a good thing. Now he has to obtain mercy and favor from Yehovah. Okay? Now the third one, it is simply the law of the land, which is the legal right to process, process any document. Legal rights. There's no way you can ignore the two and you will just rush over. In fact, if you ignore one and you have two, still you are fornicating according to the royal law governing system. Before heaven, you are just perverting this guy's life. You are just messing up the, he said, it's total. In fact, the entire family, family of four, let me be saying that. Okay. You are just corrupting. You are just polluting. The mother said his son never pay any, you know, traditional right on your head. She said she never even knew no, no, no of your family. You are so secret. I don't know. What, what are you hiding? But that thing you are hiding your secret place, by thunder, by fire, will be exposed. Thank you, Abba, that you care for your, for your children. Yes, you are after now your own. All right, now, family, we want to do what we are here today. As we know already that the title always navigates us into scripture. So let us now put in the title. Africa Jama Principalities Lady. On that grand job. Her mother-in-law interview. Treaty spirituality in carnality. That interview mm -mm, was so kind. I couldn't even, mm -mm. I couldn't even go 
more than 10, 20 minutes. I said the one I see them cut because the interview was so long. The one I see them cut into pieces. Okay, we all say maybe that one could be about five minutes. I said, okay, maybe these are the vital part or the important part we need to look into. So that is where I begin to look it. I saw the interview. I even saved it. When I just look, listen to some area, I said, no, you, you can't find me here. Now, that is what it is. So you now begin to treat spirituality in a very carnal way. You yourself, you're going to look deceptive in your own eyes. You yourself, you're going to be seeing yourself lying to yourself. <clears throat> you yourself, you're going to be seeing yourself that you are deceiving your own self. You're going to look so deceptive to your own self. You won't be speaking with confidence because you know it's, the whole matter is totally messed. There is mess in all. I'm not, you know, discredited all, but there are some parts ahead. I said no. I don't want to continue. It's okay. But no matter what, regardless what, that one never give nobody, none of these people, call children the right to insult, disgrace publicly their own mother. <laughs> I bet you want to make it so clear that the foolish, foolish, foolishness of him is wiser than us. He said the foolishness of God is wiser than men. So simply put, there are some kind of things you and I will see in God as foolishness. But do we have the right to say, God, you have not? We can't say that. We can't. So if we are to look into it, there are some kind of foolishness. But do we have the right to speak to God? Why? Because he's our creator. Whatever he does, we don't have the right to question him. And that is why he's also making a way for you and I to escape from judgment. In like father, in like mother, no matter any error you found in them, imperfect you found in them, you don't have the right to speak against them. You don't. Because God used them to create you. God creates the man, your father. But God now used the woman to create you. Woman is your creator. Come on now, Michael. Your mama is your creator. She gave life to you. Why the seed was being planted? She had the right to, you know, to contaminate you. To terminate you. To get rid of you. But rather, she worked in collaboration with Almighty to give you life. And she nourished you inside of her. How dare you speak against the land from where you spring up? How dare you speak against the very incubator that incubates you from contamination? How dare you? I'm not getting it. But what are we saying? The wickedness of devil in Jamas. No, rather Mama Kevi. Is is playing out before you and before me, but I see nobody touching on the spirituality. It's Gladys that was also trying to, you know, bring it out. Oh, I shed tears when she brought, and I always love that your mama dressing. Those are the kind of dressing where she dressed on. I, I admire her so much. She looks so cute. She looks so beautiful. This should have be a mother. You should have be using, you know, to, you know, you know, shampooing her to everybody. You know, showcasing her to everybody. Look at your mother and look at your wife. This is mama most 60 years. Look at who mama. What are we saying? You don't know her what. Old woman like this, but she still carry her body. Woman that is full of joy like this, she's full of life, she's so, you know, full of life. A woman like this don't have time for, for wickedness. People that is so wicked will see it all over them. No matter how uh, deep their pretense is, you will still be able to fish it out. But your mama is full of life. She always celebrates her life. She celebrates herself. She carries her body so well. Okay? So you don't have the right to speak against her. That's what, when I listen to uh, uh, Gladys, oh no, she played your mama's video. She said, look at the woman you are just batching on. 
Look how the woman you are calling names. You said Mother F. And you also said we that is telling you to go and apologize and make a restitution with your mother. You said Ogun will buy us. Oh, no. Anyway, we are coming to that your own because there is no wickedness without punishment. You will be forgiven, but I bet you going to punish you so severely. You won't be left out. Because you carry this Ogotogo into your family. You carry this high ranking demo into, into your family. You brought her to Ufoma. You brought her to Ejiro. You brought her to your mother. So right now, let us feed it now with the real law. Oh, Shandala Buseki. Oh, Shandala Busendelebu. What, what, is, what is going on? Why are people so wicked? Mama Kev, you love your mother so much. Your mother is so precious unto you. Why can't if you were a normal seed, if you are not a seed or serpent, you should have you should have been putting your uh, mother in, in the same category. They, they say your mama abandoned you, but yet you, you, you are not insulting her. Yet you didn't hold it against her. Yet you see reason with your own mother, you understand why she abandoned you. But this is the woman single handedly, she raised all three children, brought them all into this very abroad, European or whatever, yeah, European land. So, what could a such a mother do? So, before we start, let me reprocast, then we will start, you know, feeding it now, feeding it now with the royal law. All right, now, family, since Bible is our authority, and let us dig now into the mind of Abba Yahuwah, because Bible is simply the mind of Abba Yahuwah, okay? So, let's start walking away from this very particular passage, very, very popular passage, okay? This one is going to guide us guide us all through matthew chapter 7 verses 15 and 16 beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing this is my concern okay sheep clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves do you know what wolves did they always devour they always scatter one's perfect home one's perfect lovely home peaceful home they always destroy their destroyer. They always, you know, come against anything that is so precious in the family. Peace is needed in the family. Love is needed. Unity simply is needed. Prosperity is needed. Understanding is needed. And protection is needed. These are the, you know, the, 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 the packages of life. But wolves in sheep clothing is going to enter into you as a sheep. But the real person is wolves. So when he enters, it's going to throw everything upside down. It's going to destroy one's good, good relationship with father, with mother, brother, sister. I was once dead. Not that I'm utterly, truly delivered, but my own, I handle it spiritually. I never did my, okay? But sometimes so hard. Sometimes so hard. And my son never, ever, the only boy I have, he never, ever do that to me publicly. It's message to message. And after he has done that, sometime, two days, sometime, what is two, what's, what, what is two days, two hours, before the days runs out, this boy will come and be crying in my inbox. Mommy, please forgive me. I don't know why I'm doing it. I will let him know you have never insulted me before until you brought this ancient girl in my life. I did your wedding. About six years ago, I spent almost two million, you know, to, 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 to marry her for you. Okay, so I never know she was this, but but before that marriage, that was my error. You have been insulting me because of this girl. I'm a single mother of four, take care of all four by myself. Marcus' father is dead, but the one I had those children for was still living. It is now he died officially about last year, maybe five or six months now. Okay, now he's gone officially, but. He was dead, but like someone that is dead already. He never ever participated in anything that has to do with the betterment of those children's life. I did it all. So now, single so holiday, I will also make shopping in my house. This, my son, will share everything into two and carry one part and go and give to this girl. 
As soon as I discovered, the, the girls told me, I have to ask, why are you doing this? Huh? I'm just trying to, you know, to, to be a good mother, not that I have it. I'm just managing. Ever since I left Nigeria, I've never been home once. You should have been understanding that mama is just struggling to survive. Huh? So, from there, now begin to insult me. From there, now begin to fight. He did that one, he pleaded. Okay, I forgive. The second time, he did it again. And these five times that boy insulted me has to do with anything that have to that concerns the girl. Then Anna took my stand and said, no, this one is evil spirit. No, this one is just Goliath. This one is wolves in sheep clothing. Then Anna took off that sheep clothing that she used to masquerade. Then Anna let my son know, this is what it is. That his friend now began to see reason. Sometimes he himself also see reasons. Because he will, because he will come to me and say, Mama, I'm sorry, but I don't know why I'm doing this. This is not me. Then I will let him know, I know why you are doing it. And the reason why you are doing it, he's, the, the, the thing is there standing by you. Because that is our mission. A one so, you know, beloved son, lovely son, now became a terrorist in our house. So I understood this language, okay? A sheep in a, 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 a wolf in sheep clothing. We know how they rose, okay? We know how they operate. We know how, we know how, we know, we know. So that's why I took this matter upon myself, like Abba Yawa did. Because if Mama Kevi just come and say, Mama, I'm going to wage war with you, that is where I found that interview, uh, you know, no, 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 no matured and uh, full of carnality, lies, whereby he said, he asked, she asked Mama Kevi to go and wash the toilet. Then Mama Kevin now begin to just display. No, it's someone that come to destroy you who play the part of she a sheep. I found that very, very difficult to be I said, no, my sister, this is a lie. This is a lie. This is not true. How can you say uh, she came your by then she was a girlfriend to visit and you ask, come and clean the toilet? She said no. Before they now begin to say, no, nah, no, nah, that was so childish. Mm -mm. That, that was that, that, that was so fat. That was the area I stopped. I said, no, I don't have time for this. This is not, mm -mm. it's not giving at all. It's not adding. Mm -mm. Connect it together, I put it. That was where I stopped listening to that until I see the small, small ones they caught. Because this woman is sheep. This woman is wolf in sheep clothing. How can she just display who she are? If devil is coming to you and say, I'm the devil, and Mike said, saw that by himself. Ah, of course, now everybody will run away. Now, now verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. So now let us know, Mama Kevi, by this very fruit that is just flying everywhere. Let us know who is this high pre This one is principalities. She is using astral projection upon the family. Astral projection. I was even saying that uh, the one my son brought to me, because Mama Kevi, four years ago, she's an, I was told she, she's an Asian, Asian woman. Okay. Like I said, I don't know why some Asian women is like, I'm not going to be general, generalizing it. Okay. But I don't know why few, many of them, excuse me, many of them is like that. I don't know why. But yeah, was no why. Understand. So, let us know this very pre high principality, high ranking demo, these principalities in the high, higher place or in the secret place by her fruit. So, I will be playing the video. Hello, guys. I'm going to be playing her video. Okay. So, let me just fast, fast forward it to where we actually need to listen to. All right. We can, we can be listening to you. Wait till you want. Even when you come, you won't settle with your son, this one. You know your fish settle with only your son. Stupid woman. Make peace with all of them. You who my you are a very stupid woman. You cannot make peace between your children. Very stupid.
very stupid woman. Nobody cares to know why your mother is against her. Yes, yes, one day. Okay, so I think I will be. That is the area I want to. I want us to play. He said they. Ha, she said they have never, you know, fought her one day, insulted her one day. So which means this family were once in a very good relationship. They were once in obedience or subjection or submission unto their mother. So they were in obedience unto their mother. They were they they they, they that is they they wasn't uh, how am I going to put it? They were not a rebellious children. We knew we know how re rebellious children right from the beginning they will be beating their mother, beating their their, their father or whatever their elder. But this very uh, Ufoma, the first daughter of Sister Lovett. Confess publicly that they once have this mother and children lovely relationship. That that they have never insulted their mother nor fought her. Okay. All of a sudden, okay. Should I keep playing? She not until you went. Okay. Let's let, let's. Okay. Oh. Okay. We never fight you. One day. Before this argument. Okay. Before now. Okay. Yeah. She said before. So the war, the confusion, the chaos in the family began as soon as Mama Kevin stepped in. Right from Nigeria. When they also hear, they have never insulted their mother. This girl also insulted her mother in this very particular video. Okay, before we start, let me just put, let me let me read the day I saw this. I cried, Mama Kevin, you are a wicked soul. You are a wicked soul. You have never once, for once, came out to tell us how your mother abandoned you and the punishment you gave unto her. But you now went for your wicked selfishness, for your wicked, you know, selfishness and benefits. You now went to go and drag Ufoma to come and be defending you on social media. Now, listen, this is what I just put out. The day I saw, I, I cried and I was so disappointed. I said, ah, Mama Kevi, see as you turn this family upside down. See, uh, see as you turn this family upside down. See as you, see as you bewitched another woman's children for your own benefit okay let me take it again ha mama kevy see as you turn this family upside down see as you bewitched another woman's children for your own benefit ha may almighty yahuwah never let me have enemies as my own children her daughters, okay, yeah, daughters, yeah, and so bury witness to a stranger they found on Italian street to disgrace their own mother. I wept, eh? I wept. This Africa Jama, a bubu the bubu lady, is a really high ranking demon. Mama Kevy is a principality. She is using astral projection on this family to know the whereabouts of North Solo Africa. Okay, North Solo Africa is a uh, Mama Mama Kevy or Mama of former the lady that is talking about sister love it. That makes her daughter's son family confessing to Mama Kevy. Okay, I think I will stop. Okay, confess it to Mama Kevy. The idol worshiper. She's not. She, this woman is an idol worshiper. And I will prove that. The idol worshiper that believed so much in Juju making this cost marriage divine to show herself relevant and innocent. This is, this is, this is not, there is no smoke. Okay, this is, there is no smoke without fire. 
elderly woman. A woman that is above 40. She's headed to 50. A woman came out on the international gathering to bear witness against her own mother for this stranger they just met on the Italian street hockey her body. She said, we, we have never for once disrespected you. We have never for once fought you until this problem surface. So who is the problem that Mama Kevy brought about this destruction in this family? She is a principality. She is a high-ranking demon. It pains me that Lovette couldn't look into what is fighting her. She now wants to go and grant interview. Treating her spirituality in carnality now makes her so deceptive in her own eyes. That she has said now knew that some area I'm just lying though. I'm just telling lies. Oh. I'm lying. That is how it is. When you now begin to treat spirituality in a very carnal way, you, you yourself will become, be, become so foolish to your own self. It won't make sense anymore to you. You will get tired. You won't find joy. You won't be speaking with confidence because you know you are lying. And Mama Kevin also cast that spell on you in order for everyone that was support, once supported you to drop to you. And so many people speak against you. I say, yes, this is how these principalities, this is how they work. So now that we are here, we will still play another part to hear from our data. Let's put in the scripture because I knew when fight entered my house. And Sister Lovett also knew when fight entered her house. How did fight came into her house? How did fight came entered her house? Through Mama Kevy. Mama, uh, uh, Sister Kevy or Mama uh, Michael or Mama Ufoma or Mama Ejiro said her children has never for once insulted her. They were a loyalist. They were obedient children unto her. She said they have never rebelled against her. I know, for of course, now it's in every family. You see this tongue and teeth, they are very close. Of course, sometimes they do bite each other. They do fight. Of course, in family, there must be sometimes disagreement. Everything should be agree, agree, agree. No, there is no perf there is no such family on earth. It doesn't exist. So there are some I my my, uh, my children. Sometimes we will disagree to agree, but it will never ever result resolve to insult. And they have their limits. They know where to stop. They knew they are talking to their mother, and they know where to stop. And in every family, that is how it ought to be. But when you not cross your boundary and you don't know when to stop and you not talk beyond your capacity and your ability, therefore, that is no more uh, 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 ordinary. So, Sister Lovett make it so clear that she and her children, we are having this one's relationship. He said, Michael has never ever insulted her. None of them, not just only Michael, until Jama demonic high principalities enter the life. She said until she came and we also has the same testimony from her daughter. So let's present this testimony of both uh, uh, both sides. Matthew chapter 18 verses 16. But if he will not hear thee, they take with thee one or two more that in the month of two or three witness, every word may be what established. So now we established this one already. That this woman was, we are, of course, if, if the children were so arrogant in this man, how can she even use her own hard and money bringing them abroad? No, she won't be doing that now. And it, you know, prodigal children will always leave them on the street. We will always abandon them. So they were once good to her. That was why the mother worked so hard in bringing all three abroad. Only when they come abroad, that is where the, 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 the mother, the, the, the mother now become evil. Eh? Who is going to believe that? So something, there is fire on the mountain. Okay, 
there's no smoke without fire. So now that we have seen that day, we are once in good relationship. Let us proceed further now to see what the royal law have to say concerning mother in law and daughter in law saga. It's also in our book. Let's see why. Matthew chapter 10. I'm going to be taking from verses 34 through 37. Think not that I have come. This is the author of life speaking. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but what sword? Confusion, war. Now, listen, the reason why he said that. 35. Now, for I am come to set a man against his um, father, and the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law <laughs> against her mother-in-law. You see the saga is over here. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Okay, the saga is over here. We will tell you now why. There it says, And a mass enemy begins in his household. Okay, you see father, mother, daughter-in-law. We are in one house, in one boat, uh, boat or ship. Okay, 37. He that loveth, he, th this is the reason why. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. I think I will be okay. Thirty-eight. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy worthy of me. Okay, he that tried to save his life will lose it. Now listen. That particular place is that when. Uh, okay, I will first of all break father and son. Okay, now father. Is a fetish priest in most cases that is where we agree, that is where the royal law taught us to disagree with them. Father is a fetish priest, and son is a Bible carrier. Confusion, mother is a fetish priest, and daughter uh, 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 is a Bible carrier. Confusion, the, the war is already in the house. Come on now, there is war already. Okay. Uh, mother Ilo fetish prince, daughter Ilo Bible carrier, war already, but see, he never give go ahead for you to insult. When your papa call you, let's go and worship idol, you say, No, I don't have no hand in it. So, what are we saying? The same uh, thing or law, Abba Yahuwah commanded us to disagree with one another that is going to be bringing you know disagreement in the family. That is what this woman believed, Mama Kevin. She's an idol worshiper. In two or three occasions, I see her bragging about this juju, Ajelala. This is the woman that first of all saw more her mother-in-law in Ajelala court, in Ajelala shrine, in Ajelala covenant. You're going to be seeing reason with me after we are done with this very message that is maybe somehow to you not crooked. But when I begin to make it straight and lay it flat, you're going to be picky sense that Mama Kevy is a principalities. High ranking demon that live in the cloud. I will show you how wicked that demon is. In the, in the surface, they're going to be playing victim. They're going to be playing soft. They're going to be playing kind. They're going to be playing tranquility. They're going to be playing that I'm so relaxed and calm. It is my modello that is ranty. But in the spirit realm, if you ever, if you have a spiritual eye, and I bet you will open your eye to see who is this Mama Kevy. You will fall on your knees and begin to pray that Abba Yewa help to deliver this woman and her children. They are in the very uh, high ranking uh, demon courts. They've been summoned over the through their agent. They've been captured. They've been taken to the underworld that it takes only Abba Yewa to break them out. If not, another uh, worst will happen. The devil coming not, but the state to key and to destroy. He has succeeded to steal. He has succeeded to destroy one's good relationship of children and, and their mother. Now, what is left is death. Our children insulted their parents. The penalty according to the royal law, the judgment after you are sit against it or over it is simply what? Death. You don't insult your mother. Why? Because she's your maker. I bet you want to make you through her. You insulting your maker? 
The penalty is simply what death. That is what is left. And I bet you what we never won't allow it to lead to that. Instead, Mama Kevin is the is the Azazel goat. She is the Judas. She will use her own head to carry it in your words, my TV. I hate people oppressing people. If you call this family your family, what for? Are you in the court of law? That you have to run. Big, 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 big. Oh, for my, come and defend me. Big, 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 big. Come on. What is it? For your selfish gain. You still, you, you now want to go and drag the elder daughter to join you not to fight our own mother. Let's proceed. So we have seen the saga. So let's go back. Let's take it down to mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Now, the inter, uh, instance of a mother-in-law or Mama uh, Mike, according to her, as soon as she saw Mama Kevin, he told, she, excuse me, she told her son, Mike, and said, I don't like this woman. I don't like this woman. Everything this woman told his her own, her own son, the demon possessed son, Mike, and I carry it and begin to tear this good for nothing woman, the, these principalities. So, first of all, first sight matters a lot. When she saw her first time, she doesn't say, No, I don't like her. No, I don't want this one. As we that have only child, just only one boy, not only child. We want the best for them, like me. I we want the best. We, because the Maria Law make it so clear that I and the children, Yahweh has given unto me, we are made for signs and wonders. We want better one. No, this uh, what is this for? We want cute, we want better one. So where our mother saw this and said, nah, nah, this one doesn't fit my son. I don't want her. So which means she saw something. She she saw danger ahead. She saw this confusion beforehand dead. Her mind told her, mm -mm, this one is a war zone. This one is a war zone coming from the underworld into your life. Your family is going to be torn apart. Your family is going to be torn upside down. She felt that within her. Her spirit man communicate, commune with her right away and say, send that away. But because she's a high-ranking demon, but because she's a principalities, and my sister love it, full of carnality, that is why this woman, we are still able to capture that. She will still able to take that to the underworld. She will still able to build the throne of confusion, the kingdom of confusion in this family. Bini have this proverb that says, anything that comes to you and that thing become good, that is where we're going to be starting tracing who you are. How can you go into family, a once lovely family, that we are so obedient unto their mother, that they are, that they are loyalists, the daughter confessed, their mother, their, their mother also confessed. How come as soon as you enter, the whole thing just, you know, being pulled away, and these children now became terrorists? Call it their mother, a prostitute. Even we that said, go and make a restitution. Go and make, you know, uh, uh, this. Uh, go and ask your mother for forgiveness. He said, we. He said the people that are going to buy them. I read that this song. Michael now said the, his mother is the one to make apology. No, now the water you used to wash, but it wash your leg can never go on your head. It's an abomination. If there will be apology, I know she also offended you. First of all, you are the one to make that move. Mommy, I'm sorry, forgive me. She also said, forgive me also. I know I also you know, said something that isn't true. But you must. Don't ask Abbe your wife for forgiveness. Don't ask your creator for forgiveness. And he will just come and say, I'm forgiving you. Who does that? It doesn't work that way. Whenever you fall into a mess that break separation somehow, you are the one to start reframing your way back to your creator and say, Father, please forgive me. I miss the mark. He will say, My son, I'm forgiving you. And the only way I bet you is also letting us know that he, he is also sorry for bringing this destruction upon us. It is to deliver us, cleanse us, and give us now blessings. 
you know, to compensate us. You know, for all the calamity he brought on us. That is the only way. That is how it works. Not the other way around. He said if we waited, he said hey, this award will end. We, we will not get it. We told you, you lied. I will let you know how you're going to render that apology unto your mother. It's by force, by thunder. You don't know what you are playing games with. Oh, man, eh? stupid boy. Now we have read Matthew 20, 37. Okay, now. So that we are still on Matthew 10, 34 through 37. Mother-in-law and daughter-in-law saga is here. So now, where the woman disagree, the principalities now revolt. And I said, don't worry. It is your son and your daughter that is going to help me fight you. I will use your own son and your own daughters to deal with you severely. How dare you? You want to cut me in my hiding place? That is where the saga you know, begins. And indeed, she is playing out before us. This woman just gathered all three and began to use them to fight a woman that brought these children. Is that normal? Uh -uh. Is somebody that have a reasoning that still have this capacity to think deep, that still have this you know sense of reasoning, you would know of a sure word that this is not normal. Who are you? Like I am now. My daughter would not go and join the Asian gate and fight me. Ah, oh, no. Hell no. <sighs> you what, Wanniho? Look into it with a very, in fact, in fact, with that Bible, you yourself will know this is not normal. So we have done that. We have done that. So, daughter. Uh, daughter-in-law and mother-in-law saga we see already disagreement okay because she carry on clean spirit and right away her spirit let her know now it's going to be war her armies of hell is going to be on list on you uh, her, uh, men of war from the underworld is going to be released onto you so she saw it but she was so powerless you know to quench it so we are done with this let's proceed now to the other points of her confessing the dirty line. I'm not I'm not gonna be saying that a former lie against her own mother. I know this is true. But why did her mother went to Babalawo to help her fight the battle? It is what she saw at the beginning, and that thing already is manifested before her face. Come on now, no mother will just sit down and fold her hands. It is where she also know then. It is where she believed on. I don't know whether maybe now, but it is what she. It, that is what she believed on. But then she not got it wrong. You see, when my own begins, as I begin to, I go on fasting. I begin to pray until I beg you, I say, please come to my rescue. This is not me. I needed the best for my children. I needed the best husband. I needed the best wife for my children. Not this. No, this one is just duplicate. This is not what I needed. Do something about it. I always cry because no mother on this planet we see, especially mother, we see their children, you know, falling up, falling apart, going out of the way, picking settle for less that will, you know, you know, that will have that will be happy about that. No, no mother will be, you know, condoling that. So let's we have seen, let's take take another another uh uh uh, uh oh, another whatever. Confession. Mama Gabriel, he came with you. I talk for this media. I talk and say, my mother, I love saying you when you tell Nigeria. May you go do to do for me. You go first place. He tell you say these people are natural love. The natural love. Break it because of the fear of your God update this nonsense. And 
that is Babalawo. It's Babalawo that is confessing now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. No, the, the one where you go, get the one where you say you go one, one more. Mm-hmm. 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 You see, this is the height of all wickedness. This is how principalities operate. This is the most devilish I've ever met. This one break me down. This is something a mother and a daughter did secretly. Once before, this woman, this girl, if former was with her mother, she was supporting her mother. And say, no, this woman needs to go. Why is my brother insulting my mother? For what reason? Because of this woman, she will help her mother to run all the runs, to walk all the way. Because this is what they knew then, to go to Babalao, yes. You see, now, after all said is been done, the same daughter is taken by a principalities. And they say, come to our group. Join me to fight this battle. Therefore, she now came out. She now began to confess to this high-ranking demon. This is what my mother did, or we are doing against you. So let's 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 put scripture. <laughs> How can a mother? This one make me cry. Honestly, I said I'm highly disappointed. What is this for? What is this for? So scriptures for this. Oh, where is it now? What is this for? James chapter 5, verse 16. Let's see what Abiyawa has to say concerning this. My own daughter told my enemy, a savvy stranger, not a stranger that is worshipping heaven, a diabolical woman, a diabolic woman, a delicious woman, Against our own mother. So before informer was against, also Mama Kevin, because she sees something wrong, and said this ought not to be. So let's do it. Uh, James chapter five verses uh, sixteen. Let's read. Confess your fault one to another, and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual uh, favorite prayer of a righteous man. I valeth much. So why am I here? So before I break it down, I would also like to add uh, Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11. He said we should confess our sin to one another because the mother was the one who sent her to all this babalawo. You see how how, how high ranking the more prayed? You can't because this mama Kevin is high, higher. It's principalities than mama uh, 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 Michael. That is why every attempt she makes, it is always failure. Any attempt she makes, it is always story. Any attempt she makes, it is always disappointment. She wasted her money. The Babala was said this, and the Babala was said that. They even gave her, gave the daughter powder to be blowing on the air in order to separate them. What is in the air? Who are they blowing that powder to? Who is guiding them? And who is also leading love the mother of Michael, also to this Babala? It is simply the hierarchy demon. You are going to you are coming to their kingdom for them to also lose what they hold. You are coming to their kingdom for them to release to you what they have stolen from you. You are coming to their kingdom for them to you know to 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 to, to set back for you to become whom you, you whom you want your son to be. Yeah, <laughs> my people destroyed that for lack of knowledge. Who is in Babalawo? I will see of a very sure one, the very brother light vividly that Mama Kevin believed in Babalawo. The other day, he, she dragged her mother-in-law to Ajelala's kingdom. Precious Meg, it wasn't on last week. She also t told her mother, this time she said her, her mother go out of Benin. So her mama know all these Babalawo places. 
That this time they do, they didn't even do the spare or the cost lay in Benin. They have to travel out of Benin. So what are we saying? That is who mom, what Mama Kevin believe in. Voodoo's. If anybody offend her, it is Babalawo and Voodoo's. And this is the same Babalawo house. If former Mama went to, to seek for justice, ah, you're going to get that. That is why Shema this girl keeps following you. So for this Babala World thing, I know you did it, but you also deny you did it. I say, I beg. I beg. I'm not against you because it's what you believe in. It's what you, whatever. It's, it's what you, you know, you, 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 you yeah. It's, it's what you put your trust on, but you can't fight darkness. You can never fight darkness with darkness. Now, Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. That at the mention of Yahushua, Every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. 11. And that every tongue should confess that Yahushua HaMashiach is Adonai to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Now, what did he say? Every tongue. If this were from heaven, ordained from heaven, genuinely, you know, you know, genuinely divine uh, protection for Mama Kevi, the one that should have been making this confession is not Ufoma. It is the Posse, her own mother, that sent her. That sent the money and said, please go so, to Susu so, 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 Babalawo. Go to Susu so, so, Babalawo. I want them to separate my son from this bondage of this woman. It should have been Sister Lovett that will not come to Jama, destructive lady, and say, sorry, please. He said, confess your sin to one another. That is, if I have offended you, if I have hurt you somehow, some way, I need to come to make a restitution. That is how ours work, biblically. Mama Lovett need to come to jam Mama Kevy to say, oh, my daughter, in -law. if this marriage were ordained, by God, as the, the Babala will claim, she should have been the one confessing, not for her to be confessing. Say, oh, mouth, we confess. You are not the one to be confessing. Your mother, you can't confess for your mother. Three people. Now, her daughter confessed to her. Another woman, uh, uh, Michael's mama sent to go and be bullying her on the social media. Also come to Jama First Lady or Jama Destru Destructive Lady to also confess to her and say your mother -in is the one who gave me this contract that I should keep on bullying you. Another one again also came to confess to her. So what is going on? Do you see how high ranking demon works? Because this woman supersedes them all. This woman is more powerful spiritually. These people, they are, you are just little, little children before Mama Kevin. In the spirit realm. That is why every move of Mama uh, uh, Michael to redeem her son, she knew already. She projected astral projection. She is the one projecting it on you, sending you to Babalawo because she knows that's where the power lies. You will go out, so they will, you know, from there, there will be no your secrets, there will be no your whereabouts. There will be no your next move. There will be no all your plans. Eh, you want to kick out or redeem? You want to kick goat? You want to kick this? Like her. They want to. He said because precious men. That was last week. Also bring out our own idea and how it ought to be into the matter. What did Mama Kevin did? She sent her mother, that witch mother of her, to go to out of Bini. Now go to another foreign land, cross river, cross road. To go and seek for justice from Babalawo. So the Babalawo now told them to buy dog, to buy a duke. What animal again? They kill the pieces of those animals on the street. Ayelala shrine. So the mother now graduated from Kozoti, the spirit in, in, in those land, or, or rather the Babalawo in those land, and then you know, carry this family, carry precious men. To another kingdom where power needs to jump power. She's seeking for more power to deal with Michael and his family. Then the mama is playing carnality. So this is how principalities work. Three people, I heard it, I heard I've heard from her, and I heard uh, they play the record. The sister, the brother confessed to her. The, that is the brother of uh, Michael's mother, Sister Lovett. His own flesh and blood. 
the same papa, the same mama, confessed to her how uh, she also said they must separate in her plans. Another woman, also maybe relevant, uh, relative, she also gave the contract that they need to be bullying her. That one also confessed. Then her own daughter also confessed. Confess it for, to her for what? Who is she? High ranking demon. You don't have no secret before them. You have no movement before them. Now, this is what Mama Kevin worship. Exodus chapter 12. Excuse me. Exodus chapter 30, uh, 32. Go and read the, the people that worship idols. What did our royal law or what did Abba Yahweh, what did he do to them? He slew them all. He slaughtered all of them. 3,000. Why? Because they make image, they make stone and wood to worship a God. He killed them. And that is the very first commandment. Exodus again, chapter 20, verses uh, 1. Let's take from there. And Yahweh spake all these uh, uh, wells, saying, I am Yahuwah the Elohim, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Uh, for thou shalt not make unto, uh, unto thee any graven image, that like stone, like wood, okay, the very one Mama Kevin carried the, this family to. Of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under. Okay, listen now. Five. Thou shalt not bow thyself to them because you bow. That. What is bow? Submission. Belief on them. Okay. So Mama Kevin did not just you know, believe. She submitted totally. She gave her money for them to keep something that has blood. She said that is representing the blood of precious milk. And she also did likewise to her own mother-in-law. The mama, uh, Michael, sister, love it. Did you get that? So why are they confessing to her? She's not born again. She don't trust in heaven. She trusts in stone and wood. Why are they confessing to her? If you are a believer, and people plant, plant, uh, plot evil against you on your behalf, and Abba Yehovah will cause that to happen. Because it washes to and flow. His eyes runs to and flow upon the righteous. He like one of the devil said, I'm going to make myself like the most star. Did also likewise. Now Revelation chapter 9, verses 20. Let's see. So Mama Kevin is an idol worshiper. How come all these people is confessing to her? So what are we saying in the nausea? In totality, this is how high ranking demon operates. You can never lay hold on them, you can never defeat them, you can never succeed in any plans you carry out against them. They will always nullify, they will always lose themselves, they will always conquer. It takes the high, high, uh, a higher hand to put these people down. But Mama Lovett is doing carnality. Revelation 20, like I said, Revelation 9. Verses 20, like I said. Now listen. And the rest of, of them, and the rest of men, which we had not killed by the plagues, by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and bronze and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. They don't care that. So serious. So serious. The people that were doing it, I bet you want to release plagues on them to destroy them. He did it in the old, he also did it again in the new. How come these people not keep on confessing to an idol worshiper, a believer of stone and wood, a believer of demons? How come? So, in totality, what I'm saying is that this is how high ranking demon operates. You can't succeed them. Never. Every legal right you want to release on them, according to you, you said you have the legal right, they will defeat you and push you to the ground. What are you saying? Now let's put some more. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18. Second Corinthians chapter 6. 
Listen. What did Abaya was said over here? Be not equally yoked together with unbelievers. Who is unbeliever? Yes, the people that we just read. I do worshippers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? They are darkness. Okay, 15. And what uh, concord hath Yahushua with a Baal, that is devil? Or what part that he that believed with an infidel? Infidel is simply me again, unbeliever, 16. And, with, uh, and what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? What agreement? What do we have in common? Nothing. Absolutely. And this is the same idol you used to let the cause. You, you, you used to brag. You said those idols are your defenders. Are your gods. You believe so much in them. You set forth your money to keep a blood. Because you want to share somebody's blood. You will drink your own blood. Yeah, what's my thing? As the royal law has said. That he's going to make you to eat your own flesh. And also he will make you to drink your own blood. As a sweet one. And so shall it be upon you mama Kevin. In your what's my name. All the trouble. You have troubled the family. Yeah, but you will bring it back to your bosom. So in double. In your what's my name. It's very bad to be evil. It's very bad. I don't support nonsense. And the, the royal law don't condone witchcraft manipulation. He don't condone you with casting spell upon people. We don't tolerate. We don't. We, we can't handle that. Whenever, whenever we see you display this witchcraft, ah, we come. We we. I will come after you. We we'll come after you, through the eyes of the royal law. We don't have nothing to come. How come this people not begin to testify? He said, for ye are the temple of fear of the living Yahuwah. And has said, okay, let me drop over there. We don't have no business together. How dare you said you went to Obala and these children are coming to you? Not children because this woman, Ufama, is about 44 years or 43 years. He's not a baby. But this is how it is. Look at educated, look at illiterate. Uh, illiterate. They will make be full of your professional. They will make be full of it. Okay, now, uh, what else again? Revelation chapter uh, 21, verses 8. Who is not coming into the heavens? Go and read it. Idol worshiper is also there. Okay, idol worshiper is also there. So you are not coming in. How come now that is the power you believed in to justify you, to vindicate you? So give you victory. Your end has come here. What's my name? Now let us shift into another part. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 10 verses 22. This is how they operate. High ranking demo. They, they always go by astral projection. That is moving out of the body experience. experience. The very one was also called witchcraft. They will follow you everywhere. Monetary camera. CCTV camera will be placed on you. So what, who is the evil eyes now? Who is the eyes now from where else this drama first lady is seeing all the plans the mother law is making? And to put her son that not to work. It is the children. <laughs> Simply the children. Simply the children. She's confessing. Your mother dirty most da you know darkest part. You you're not disgrace her. Publicly, the Babala will say they are ordained for, from heavy. We're gonna see the marriage that is the Babala will say this marriage is ordained from heavy, and we're also gonna see that the, where the Babala will also say that the, the love is pure. Eh, <laughs> God ordained this kind of marriage, you blasphemed. Numbers chapter 10, verses 22. Let us read down. The blessing of Yahweh, it maketh rich and added no sorrow with it. If Yahuwah indeed we are the one who ordained this marriage, come on now. It's going to flourish, flourish that family. It's going to make that family wow. It's going to make that family beautiful. It's going to make that family so lovely. They're going to be a family of unity. His blessing make rich. He had no sorrow. So where are these bad boys coming from? Huh? That this boy called his mother prostitute. He called his mother mo uh, um, 
uh, Mother F. He called his mother Bastard. Oh, God. So, is that a blessing? <laughs> Proverbs chapter 18, verses 22 also. The blessings of Yahweh make rich. He had no sorrow. Come on now. This is from the pit of hell. No matter how you masquerade it, I know what this is. It is complete nonsense, okay? It's a, it, this is a cost. Proverbs 18, 22. Whosoever findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from Yahuwah. Uh -uh. Is Jama first lady a good thing in the family? If you are a good thing, like I said before, this family should not be paradise. They should have be understanding. They should have be loved. They should have be prosperity. They should have be unity. Yeah. We know the finger of our father. And the Babala was said this marriage is ordained from heaven. And we are looking into now the mind of heaven. We are looking into now the very, very mind of heaven concerning this very, you know, whatever the, that is going on now. The heaven said you lied against him. I never said uh, uh, principalities to uh, Michael. But devil did. Rather, this marriage is ordained from the bottomless pits, from the underworld. In the presence of Yehua is fullness of joy. If Jama, if this summa, Mama Kevin indeed is being given to Michael, oh no, no. Should I be lovely? Full of joy. The house will be full of joy because his presence will be there. But whereby we take it, you know, the other way around. Confusion. Commotion disagreement war battle no sense mama kevin wa finya wo you go be no your makeup you look so ugly you are we were ugly in fact everything about you is no sense everything about you is so ugly we were we hurry of war wa go wa wa be and then even in even now where it's a day from God. It's a day see the what what they ordain or see what let's take another one. See what they say God they ordain. Psalms twenty one hundred and eighteen, Psalm one hundred and eighteen, verses twenty three. This is Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. All eyes that see this marriage, if it were the doings of Yahuwah, ah, it should have been marvelous. It should have been lovely that we, we, we're going to be heavy. We say, oh, look at Dr. Ilam or Dailam. Oh, man, look at the way they are flazing. Oh, look at the way they are just jubilate. Oh, Yahuwah, we will be blessed. Yahuwah, your behalf. Oh, this marriage is so wonderful. This is indeed the finger of God. We will see it. But what are we seeing? We are seeing chaotic. We are seeing war. We are seeing battle, catastrophic. That is all we are seeing. Kingdom against kingdom. Eh? No sense you might be. It's a day. And the Babala said it's a day from heaven. In Yahweh's might. The nonsense in the highest order. It's Yahuwah, the almighty Yahweh, giving this nonsense as a marriage. His blessing make rich. He has no sorrow. If he want to give the only boy, only son in the family a wife, he will bring that angelic bee unto him if they were born again. So because they were so vulnerable, exposed to all this power of darkness from on the underworld, that is the reason you were able to lay hold on them. You catalyze on their weak points and you not let you capture them. You take their most precious, precious jewelry in the family. Look at a 43 years old woman. Fully herself on the social media. Also insulting her mother. She said she would lay cause on her own mother. Oh, I for sure. Hmm. We are still on. If Yahuwah, we are the one who indeed established this marriage, we know the glory. We should have seen the glory. But what we are seeing, it is the other way around. It is the negativity. It is the evil spirit manifestation. It is the other kingdom manifestation. We are not seeing the manifestation of heaven that make marriage so beautiful and so glorious. We didn't see that at all in this marriage. You are the one that is masquerading it. You are the one that is, you know, you know, putting all this, making it as if it were divine. No, no, no. It's not. It's a cost. Wow. How do we know? You instigated children against their own mother. You did not take the ma. You took the, you took the girls along to fight one person. 
So I'm going to allow me to watch my today. Matthew chapter 7 verse 6 through 12. Let's see what Abiyawa has to say here. Give not that which is holy unto dogs. You know the character of dog. The bag on the street. Mama Kevi. Neither cast ye your purse before pig. Mama Mama Kevi is a leg there. I be with that. Your mother-in-law, oh, this one also hurts me. Your mother-in-law will come in to pay a visit, and that notice or that notice will be given over two to three weeks. She did not just come to visit you suddenly, but rather she notify you guys for before handed about almost a month. Okay, now mother was coming to visit a son and the mother and the daughter-in-law. They couldn't cook no food for this woman. They could it cook no food for this woman. This imbecile, this high ranking demon, principalities, Mama Kevin has said, because uh, her mother in law don't eat African food, they don't eat Nigeria food. What happened if you call her on the phone? Of course, you would normally speak, will you guys talk on phone? Mama, now that you are coming, I know you don't eat. um. Africa food. So what food do you want me to prepare for you? L tell me, send it for me so that I will get it right before you come. That woman came. He said she left in the morning. She came nothing absolutely in the house to eat. Mama Kevin, will you treat your mother in this manner? That one hurt me so bad. Somebody's coming from a far place, from Italy. Come down to Jeremy. No food in the stomach. Nothing. The same woman, we are the one to eat her kitchen and to prepare spaghetti for herself. Ah, you people insulted that woman. It was that one revealed that you people never carried that woman at all. You never regard her as a human being. You treated her as nobody. You treated her as a common list. Come on, in fact, you people you see on the street, you can also you will, when a friend is coming to you, I know you will, you will prepare before before handed. When a friend a friend is coming to you know to visit you, you will clean your house. You will get you know food stuff ready. None of this you did for your own mother in law. The person you claimed you said is your husband. Her his own mother is coming from far place. You couldn't do shopping. And your excuse was that she don't eat African food. What happened if you call her, mommy? We know you don't eat African food. So what is the food you want me to prepare? Spaghetti or what? Potato or what? Salad or what? You couldn't care you because you don't see us. You don't see us nothing. So that really review who you are. That really tells who you are by your fruit. These are all your fruits. Fruit of wickedness. Your mother will be coming from far off land. If tell us, oh no, how you disrespected this woman. How you see her as nobody at all around her son. Your mother, let's be real, will be coming from a far off place. You won't prepare food for her. You won't clean the house. After two days, this woman said, you also admit she will not clean the house. I be well led there. And you also throw her son to the pig now. You are all barking. Whoa, 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 whoa. On the street. Shameless human being. Wow, Zoa. Michael, you will receive punishment. Eh? The wicked can never go unpunished. You will be forgiven. You will be saved. You will be redeemed. But you will be severely punished also. I take it again. Give no what is holy. Unto dogs. Marriage is holy. It's not meant for a principality. It's not meant for, for the sin of serpent. Light and darkness don't join together. I can really see that Abba Yawa love this family, this four family, these four people. So you are not fit to be among them. We are not giving it to you. Your mother is so holy. Mother is so precious. Listen, they uh, trample them under their foot and uh, turn and gay. And rent you into pieces. That is what is good. You see how they are disgracing their mother. You that call yourself a former. You went to go and disgrace your mother in the public. You showcasing your mama what secrets. To support and to vindicate the enemy in the house. Oh, well, why we fall, eh? You are not human. Anyways, she sat on your head. Seven. 
He said, whatever you ask is going to be given. So I'm rushing down no, to wherever. If you seek, you will find. If you knock, it will be open unto you. Now listen, now. Uh, what man is there of you? Whom, whom his son asks bread, will, will he give him a stone? Listen now. Then, or uh, if his son, or uh, if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Eleven, if ye there, being evil, know how to give good gift unto your children, how much more your heavenly Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. Therefore, all things, whatsoever ye want that man should do to you, do ye evil so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Now, what are we saying? How about you want even though your papa is the serpent, the devil, he still desire marriage for you, even though you are not meant to be there. Huh? He still desire all these good things of life for you. It's not somebody child and give it to you to put him in bondage, even though your father, the serpent, know how to do that. I bet when I say, how much more me? How much more me? I assume me, he was the one who gave you unto Michael. You would have been the best of all for him. You would have been his very strong bow in the family. You would have been the pillar that still the family. The glory should have been all over you. The testimony should have been all over you. And the praises of that should have been flying all over you. It should have been all year all over you. And it should have been a garment all over you. And it should have been the crown of your head and the very shoe on your feet. That should have been your song. And that should have been the dance on your feet. But we didn't see any of that. So it is the other way around. The serpent gave what is holy, okay, what is, what is good, because he, this guy is so precious to the family. He's the only son in the family. He's so precious. And your father snatched him away and gave it to you. So Abba when I said, if he were the one who did it, he should have, he will give the best. So he's not the one. Of course, now, who are they near? How dare you making me to believe in nonsense? Are you crazy? Are you mad? <laughs> yeah, what's my thing? It's because I allow it. I could wake up a bunny. No sense, you might be. A brother said, if you see whatever you see in it, you will use your head to carry it. It's ordained from heaven. No, heaven don't give nonsense like this. This is rubbish. Heaven don't give rubbish, okay? Now, let's see. <clears throat> Psalm 11, verses 3. Heaven don't give trouble. No, it don't do that. No. Mm -mm, you don't do that. Heaven don't do that. Next week, Tuesday, we'll be looking into um, the foolishness of God. It's also found in our parents, yet we don't have the right to speak against them. Mama Lovett told a lie. She uttered some you know, wickedness over there against the children. But that never gave you the right to speak against her. Now, Psalms 11 verses 3. If the foundation has been destroyed, what can the righteous do? It's asking. The foundation has been destroyed. Let me tell you, Mama, Mama, I love it. Sister, I love it. Yeah, Mama, I love it. The foundation is destroyed. You can't do nothing. The foundation of your power is nonsense. Babala, Babala, foundation, darkness, don't keep darkness. The foundation is a cost. Mama Kevin is a cost. You cannot also use a cost, you know, to lose yourself from a cost. You cannot use a something that is already destroyed to also be, you know, fix it. Thing. It don't work. This foundation is destroyed. Mama Kevin, your foundation as a marriage is a destroyed one. It's not a good one. It is ordained by serpent. Okay, that is trying to fake things. Because if I Abba Yawa do these things, it should have been so wonderful. If he were the one. His finger should have been so, you know, beautiful. So this foundation is destroyed. Mama Kevin, you are a distraught foundation. So to also destroy or to, if a, a, you are, as you, being a destroyed foundation, you cannot, you know, build with people, okay, that is not destroyed. Because if you do not, nothing that can work because you as a foundation is a cost to one. How are you a customer? As the moment, the very moment you step your feet into the family, calamity busted. You are a cost foundation. 
That is why curses everywhere. The, the son is cursing his mother. The, the daughter is also cursing her mother. It's a cost foundation because why? You are a cost foundation. One will always offer what they have. You have cost foundation. And that is what you also offer unto these children. To be cursing their mother for you. To be fighting their mother for you. To be defending you against their own mother. To be disgracing their own mother in honor of you. You are a cost foundation. Now, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 16. Mama Kevin is a cost foundation. But this is how high ranking demo operates, okay? They will beat you front and back. They will beat you mercilessly. They will beat you like a baby. You see how Mama Kevin is beating Sister Love it like a baby. That one, you are just making noise though, because she's higher than you. That's what we are saying. But Abe, you are higher than her. Uh, uh, what was it? Proverbs chapter, okay. Chapter 13, verses 2 and 3. Let's see what Abayawa has for you. Has here for you and me. A man eats good by the fruit of his mouth. Okay. But the soul of the transgression shall be, shall eat violence. Okay, 3 now. He that keepeth this where I'm driving into, he that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that openeth, while his lips shall have destruction. So why are we here? You know, if you keep your mouth shut in everything you are doing, demon can know your whereabouts. Demon can fish you out. Demon can understand your movements. Demon can never ever navigate into you. Why? Because you shut everywhere. Everywhere is secured, is protected. Now, he said, but if you open your mouth, pa, 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 pa. now this goes for mama. You open your mouth, pa, 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 pa. The devil will not begin to pick every movement because they work with information. You see, but this hurt me so bad because you did not open your mouth before this destroyed foundation, high principality, mama Kelvin. You open your mouth before your daughter. And... Your daughter and I also carry you now where you sent her to their agents. And their agents not lay hold on their secrets. They not understand, understood your whereabouts. They not understood what you want to do, your motive. And they not say, hey, so we should free your son. So our own will not be a single mother. Who does that? <laughs> so they not tighten their beds. They not turn from woody yoke to ioni yoke. You know when you first of all did it, it was then a woody yoke. Now, where you now begin to go from one babalawo to another babalawo, it now became now ionic yoke. But our royal law makes it so clear. Other apostle chapter 12 said, even the iron gate openeth by its own accord. The very one we see that is most difficult when Abiyawa step into the situation is going to be the most very easiest one. And you will see how your son is going to come out from this bondage because Abiyawa has taken it upon himself. Though you don't know him because I see your lifestyle, he did not speak of a believer. You miss it altogether. But wherefore, because of we that stood in a gap for you, especially me, because I was once there, Ma has already come back unto me. Now you understand what Mama need. I need a good wife for you. I don't care. Let her have one million children. Those are my children. I will take it. I will, I will take them all and I will nourish them all. Okay, where I eat, that is where those children will eat. But for that mother that bring confusion, that make you to come in names that is not mine, insulting me, and making me to be having high blood pressure inside my house, depression, I won't forgive. She's not one of me. And never will she be. Okay? Never will she be. So, because of me, about you, well, definitely, it's going to free your son. But we will also flog him where we. So now let's see. If you open your mouth, destruction. What is destruction? You open it wide. 
you throw it on the air. So let's see. Who is destruction? How is he going to hear your plans? Because your mouth, you speak to the air. Every wind is listening. Every wind that passes, passes by is listening. And they will not take it. So what is in the air? That you shouldn't voice it out. Now let's go there now. Ephesians chapter 2. Verses 2 also. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 2. Let's see what is the, the, the demon that, that carry, carry, because the other version said, air, even this air, we are seeing it carry wells, okay? It carry wells, but and it, nevertheless, I thought I put it here. Uh, it's not here, but no problem. We are in, Ephesians 2, 2, we are in, in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that will now walk in the children of disobedience. This is the this is the principalities. This is the principality we are speaking of. They are in the air. When you voice out any of your plans that should have been a secret until you carry it out, they're gonna capture. And they're gonna walk and they they're gonna they're gonna fight you for that. They're gonna make it useless. They're gonna turn it upside. It won't work. But there are also some in biblical term praise is destroyed. So don't and excuse me, Jericho's because Jericho is another blockage to glory, to rest, to salvation, and to deliverance. As soon as we we, we, we begin to sing song of praises, as soon as we begin to blow the trumpet of praises, Jericho goes down. So there are some you, you need to silence, there are some you need to speak about, like this. You speak to the air. Babalawa is air. It's going to carry out the message. It's destruction. They're going to carry out the All those Babalawa you keep sending your daughter to, they were all, uh, they are the prince of air. Okay? But Mama Kevin is principality. So now, Daniel chapter 9, read it all. When Daniel, time of freedom comes, when they were in the land of Babylon, a time of redemption has come. Okay, now I want to go back to the promised land. Okay, now I want to go back to our home, to our family. Yes, a time of redemption. Okay, now what happened? Daniel now began to pray. As soon as this place of hair, head of that prayer, <laughs> it's true. The priest of air is the principalities, which is Mama Kevi. Daniel chapter 10, you can read now at a quiet time. You're going to see when Daniel was speaking, the demon heard all his prayer. Hey, you want God to come and deliver you? <laughs> Not here. So I'm going to lose your service. No way. And hey, you are going home free now. Ah, no way. See, see what happened. Now, Daniel chapter 10, verses 10 and 11. And behold, and the hand touched me, which saith, which set me upon my knees and upon the Pumps of my hands, 10, 11. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken these words unto me, I stood trembling to him. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for thou, okay, fear not, Daniel, from the, for from the, first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to trust in thyself before thy Elohim, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. So when you were praying, we have all responded. We heard what you was talking about, okay? Now 13, I see what happened. But the priests of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but lo, Michael one of the chief priests came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. The demon in the air, the prince of air. He withstood a mighty angel for a whole three weeks. Eh? Because why? Redemption has come. And Daniel offered prayer. And as Daniel was speaking, demon lay hold on that and said, Hey, you want to you want you don't want Papa Kevin to remain under my bondage anymore for we he will not tighten the bed. He withstood a whole mighty angel for a whole three weeks until the high chief angel, Angel Mike, is a is, is a warrior. He was the one that went to this prince of air, principalities, and get that blessing and get him out of the way and that gave the entire tribe the blessing they needed. That was why they were able to return back home. Now, what are we saying? 
Mama Kevy, be a principality. It's not a small, small demon one will be playing games with. It is time for seriousness. It is time for deliverance. It is time for repentance. Genuinely, not carnality. In order for your children, it did not take one, it take all to come out from this bondage because this was a mighty angel. But this prince of air, you speak to. And this was also the same priest of air. Ufama was blowing that uh, item store. The items Babala will give unto her to separate Mama Kevi from your soul. We were blowing, blowing it also to the priest of air. It can't work that way. If this priest of air, we are, we are able to stop a mighty angel. <laughs> oh my father. Okay, Revelation uh, 12. Now let's see the Prince of Hell over there. Verses 5. Um, this is verses 5 and 9 or so. So the, this high ranking demon, okay? Mama Kevin is a high ranking demon. When I saw her, I ain't told. Oh, go to go. That is what Bini called also. But I don't know what English is calling that uh, uh, also. Very tall into this cloud. Very high. When I saw her, well, me, I was so small before her. And I say, ah, ah, who is this? So this is the, the one that stole Mike, that destroys, destroyed one's good relationship of a mother and children. Now their aim is to kill. Because that is the judgment. And that is what they are, they are also going to be using to fight. Accuse. Mike, you insult your mother, you must die. Oh, former, you curse your mother, you must die. Yes. They knew they are right. Now listen. Revelation 12. Oh, uh, five now. Is it five? Uh, where is it? Is it five, 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 or three? Or three? Let me see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, three. I'm sorry, not five. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. This is the principalities, okay? Having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. Four now. And he stay drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born this hierarchy demon who is this dragon over here it is uh Herod. matthew chapter 2 that wanted to kill the son that that is bringing salvation unto us that is bringing deliverance unto us now the verses 4 said, this dragon, this high ranking demon, drew the stars of God. The stars of God, they are angels. Stars simply mean angels. We are star. Uh, Genesis chapter 12, we see whereby Abiyuwa said to Abraham, look into the sky. If you are able to cut the stars, so should your children or your descendants be. They're going to be so numerous. You can't count them. Okay. They will act, you can't cut them. So stars are angel. When you also go to Job 38, you're going to see that the stars are angel. We are star, I'm a star. Did you get that? Okay, so that is what it is. Now, even in the presence of Abba Yahuwah, these high ranking demon principalities, we are able to flew angels down and deceive them. With what? He said by his tail. So what is in the tail of animal? Uncleanliness. What is uncleanness? Physis. Deceit. Lying spirit and all that. That is what I found in Mama Kevin. You are so decept, deceit, deceit, uh, deceitful. You are a liar. But you are still playing victims. You are still playing as if uh, 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 you are innocent. But we know who you are. That is your uncleanliness. What are we saying? High ranking demon. In like manner, you see how this high ranking demon deceived a whole angels, holy angels, in the presence of Yahweh and flew them down with uncleanness. In like manner, Mama Kevin deceived a former and a sister and a brother to declare war. If you keep reading verse 7, there was war now in heaven. Because he succeeded deceiving them from the presence of their father. Now he want to fight, he want to declare war. He want to declare war. So let me quickly see the other part. He want to declare war. 
So hierarchy demo, this is how they operate. You see the hierarchy demo where you also go to uh, 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 Revelation or 12 again now. He said he deceived the whole world. It is the red dragon. It's hierarchy demo. Unfortunately, this is the demo that resident in Mama Kevi is a very strong one, honestly. That is why I'm trying to read and to unveil, you know, the, 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 the significances of this very spirit. The secret of this spirit is in the royal law, okay? So, Mama Kevi, you are not married by Abbe Yawato. Uh, make a uh, Michael, it is devil that gave you unto you a high ranking demo. How about your don't work like that? Okay, and all right, now let's proceed. Now, I've read Revelation already for Samuel. Okay, chapter 192. I think I'm going to be briefing this for Samuel chapter 192. I should have loved to read it, but for the sake of time, you can do the reading by yourself. The case of Anna, we know the case of Anna. She first of all we are speaking out, speaking out, speaking out, and this hierarchy demo begin to use her own prayer against her. It was it wasn't working because of the flaws also in her. It was not working. When she now when time now come, she now realized that mm, this one is not working. Let me put that talkative. Let me put that pra 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 pra. Let me not expose my plans anymore. She now make this prayer in a very very silent and tranquility way that why she we are praying unto Yahuwah and said in her heart the people notice that her mouth we are moving but her heart we are, you know you know uh, um, uh, 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 her voice was heard now the prophet Eli now thought that she had drunk him. Why are you talking to me Joshua? <laughs> we don't hear what you are saying she now said she is speaking to heavy in the bitterness of her soul that she is not drunk, she changed her motive. She excuse me. She, yeah, she changed. She changed. Uh, she changed her direction. Okay, for another another thing. I said I'm not gonna be doing it this way. I'm gonna be doing it this way now, so that the prince of air will not hurt her anymore. So that the prince of air will not accuse her anymore. Will not stand on her way anymore. Because why they are high ranking demon. You see, this is the work they go by astral projection. You see, Mama Kevi, uh people um, uh Lovet. Lovet is the is her mother in law. The brother of Lovet came to confess to her. The uh, family relative came to confess to her. Our own biological daughter also came to confess to her. Why? Because she's higher than all of them. She's using astral projection. Whatever, whatever Levert will do to free her son, mm -mm, except this will take a mighty hand. So that's what we are saying. So, Sister Lovett, change your, uh, 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 change your system. So we'll, we also see this uh, high ranking demo, Matthew chapter 12, verses 22 through 28. Demo don't cast a demo. Okay. Let me see. But the time is going. I think I will be talking now. We also see that one there. That when Yahushua cast out evil spirit from a demon possessed man, the Pharisees now said that Yahushua don't cast out evil spirit, but with the spirit of Baal Baal that is why you can also use Babalawo to heal. That is why you can also use Babalawo to prophesy. That is why you can also use Babalawo to fight some battle. It is a lie. That is what we are saying. Demon don't fight demon. Kingdom, you know, darkness don't fight darkness. It's deceiving people. It's another deception. In like manner, you can't carry your son. You are you are exposing your son to more danger. You can't take your son to, uh, you know, a hierarchy demon, you know, uh, uh, domain, and you will say he's going to be receiving deliverance now. Because Mama Kevi is an also Ogoto Gonowa Talaoiso. Very high in the spirit realm. She's a high, she's a principality. That's what I'm saying. She's principalities. John chapter uh, 8, 32 and 44. We see John chapter 8, 32 make it so clear that uh, um, uh, uh, he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So in order for the truth to carry out deliverance on you, what put you in bondage? It is lie. Now, the lie, uh, Mama Kevi uh, is releasing because she is deceiving the public. She is deceiving the, 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 the republic, uh, the public or, you know, wherever she is deceiving. She is lying. Okay. She is 
putting herself, portraying herself to be, you know, the, the innocent one. You see how she was just doing. You see uh, uh, her sobriety in that video. You see how she was just, you know, uh, in a mood that oh, as an equipo, she's just troubling my life or nothing. Meanwhile, she's the one troubling the family. That's what we are saying. She's the one putting the family in bond. And she, her lying spirit is also the one that attacked love it, her mother-in-law. In order for the people that we are fighting for her to turn against her. Because we all know that she, she told the lie in that interview. Of course, we saw it. So some people now, they are using that one to flog her severely. It's like they pull fire, they pull petrol into whatever. It's up now. When I just leave, I will just leave. Yes, she make her to do that nonsense. Because she want to, you know, sit, keep on discrediting her. Revelation because she sat on her head. She's a high-ranking demon. She sat on your head, love it. She sat on your head. That's what we are saying. Revelation 17, 1 and 2 and 3. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall. This great hall is also the principality we are speaking on. That seated upon many waters, many, many waters. So let's quickly unveil what that water is. Mama Kevin sat upon that family. Mama Kevin is ruling that family. She is Ogotogo. She is a principality in the high places. Now listen. 15 now. And he has, and he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore seated upon, where the, uh, the whore seated, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Did you see? So, Mama Kevin is a high ranking demon. He's so good to go. She sat upon every single one in that family, seeing that the family, first of all, has their own problem, has demon. That took away the second son, died mysteriously without sickness. And the, we see the second left, the, the only surviving son, they are, also, they are also putting a causes of destruction upon himself because any son that caused his father or mother must be put to death. That is the judgment of the royal law. And in the presence of Mama Kevi, Papa Kevi will be insulting his own mother. Say you are a mother F. Say she is a bastard. How can that be? Oh no, where ni? Oh, where ya we water? So she sat upon the family held. That is what they are confessing to her. Okay, nothing special there. The marriage is not divine. It's a cost to one. It's ordained by devil, not by Abba Yehovah, because his blessing make rich add no sorrow. That is Proverbs chapter ten verses twenty two. Okay, uh, Psalm one hundred and eighteen verses uh, twenty three said. This is the doing of Yehovah, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Whatever, whatever by your word do is always beautiful. It's always marvelous. Okay, not this nonsense. You know, disgracing, instigating children against their own mother to be exposing their mother's dark secret, disgracing their mother on the international, you know, headline. Ah, for all eyes to see, all ears to hear. Una de crazy, eh? Revelation. Okay, we are seeing Revelation now, verses 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk, made drunk with the wine of uh, fornication. Now, former is so intoxicated with the wine of this high ranking demon mama, Kevin. Mike is so intoxicated, he me finish on it, with the wine. Of Mama Kevy wickedness. You see now in some painting now she's a snake. She hide her head. Meanwhile, she's the one shooting the arrows. But she will hide her head and put in the front wall the son and the daughter of a precious once precious mother to be fighting against their own mother. She is using her own children to be flogging her. She's a snake. Why? Because she already succeeded in getting the drunk spiritually with so much hatred, legions of demons in their heart for their mother. To be insulting. How can children will not join a stranger on the streets 
fight their mother. How dare you not question it, the audacity and the authority of your mother? Your mother has already foreseen that this woman is not good for us. We don't need her in our group. She's area scatter. She's a Jezebel. She's a Delilah. I don't want her. How dare you now, the daughter, and I say, you I say, Mama, you must accept her. A cost foundation and say, Mama, is your daughter in law? Is it by force? Your mother says she don't want. Even when the Babala also plays some games, okay, also see another thing. Where this woman indeed traveled to Nigeria because the Babala will ask her to come to Nigeria by herself to do it because she was so desperate to part them, to, to separate them. She now traveled to Nigeria and do what the Babala also requested her to do. Like, kind of, she had succeed, succeeded. It's like she, she, she has prevailed that when she called from Nigeria and now called her own son. Michael and say, uh, uh, the son, the Michael, I put it on the speaker. And Mama kept this is how high ranking demo, this is how principalities operate. You can't succeed, you can never ever succeed. Then you are too small before them. That is the world. You are just a baby before them. Now, what happened? Where Sister Lovett traveled to Nigeria, fighting by armies to redeem her son through the power the one the, she, she know or she also believed on. And the Baba Lawa did prepare every ritual and sacrifice already. Now she was so excited to call her son to give her him the good news and say, Very soon, my son, you're going to be free. And as soon as she called, the principalities attacked her husband and said, Put it on the speaker. And the phone that we are now on the speaker. And Mama didn't even care to ask, Where is your wife? Is she there? She's not beginning to talk. This is how principality operates. They will take you by surprise. They will make full of every effort you do to come out from their cage. Okay. Now she's not beginning to talk to tell uh, tell his son, say, My son, don't worry. Eh, it is done now. Everything is settled. She's gonna run mad. You will be so free. You will be so free. So that is the assurance Babala will give unto him, unto her. She's not beginning to break the news. Little did she know that his son put the phone on the speaker. That Mama Kevin is hearing everything. Afterwards, that one got Mama Kevin upset. That one did not go well with her. She now began to see that, eh, so you are planning with your mother. So you connive with your mother to go to Babalawe again, to come and kill me. Eh, so that one now brings separation. They're separated. Mama Kevin said, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> I beg, let your mama carry you. I don't want. Who restored them back again? Informa. Because you are forcing this very policy on, on your mother. Former restore her back again and say, now that you leave my brother, so you're going to be making my mother proud to say that the juju she came home to make worked for her. Why can't you return back to my brother so that my mother will not see that uh, your juju is useless, your juju is not working. She said, if you, re if you don't come back to my brother, my mother is so, going to be so happy and say, uh, juju worked for her. So go back to my brother so that my mother will know that her juju is useless. What she did is useless. And it was so Mama Kevin returned back to house. So this same year, yes, stupid former. Therefore, when the, 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 the mother, mother in law now heard that uh, they, they settled the gay, uh, that Ufoma was the one who settled them. Therefore, the mother have to call Ufoma and say, ah, well, I succeeded already. Why doing this? Why, 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 why are you making full of my effort? She now also come again to tell Mama Kevin, look at what my mother said. Is that normal? Come on now, use your common sense. This is not normal now. So she's a high-ranking demon. She sat on their head. She's just turning their head up and down, off and on. The fall was on a speaker. You see? So what are we saying? Mama Kevin is saying principalities. You can't succeed principalities. Mm -mm. Every effort you make, they will make full of it. That is simply, you don't kill devil with devil. Mm -mm, you can't. Principalities. It's also in our book, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 13. Let's see principalities where they are hiding in the Euro country. And that is what I saw. Put on the whole armor of Yehovah. Ephesians 6 verses 11 through 13. Put on the whole armor of Yehovah that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the devil, the tricks of the devil. 
12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. They are the one only. Against spiritual wickedness in the higher places. These are high ranking demons. You don't use Babala to kill a high ranking demon. That is carnality. You, you will be wounded. They will put pepper in your eye before you record, before you realize it. Now, now this one goes for Sister Vivian. They will put pepper in your eye before you realize it. Second Corinthians 10 verses 4 through 6 said the weapons are welfare, they are not carnal. You cannot treat spirituality in carnality. You're going to look so foolish to your own self. You're going to look so deceit, uh, deceitful to your own self. And that was how you look like the, that day you were granted this interview. I don't know what the interview do, did for you now. And I also support your daughter by saying uh, you are narrating your children. This is not a matter for you to bring a stranger, it, it, you know, to be talking into it. No, this is a very serious matter. Okay, this is a very serious matter. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. Mama Kevin, if you were really ordained by God for this family, you should have been a very strong pillar, in and out pillar to start that family. You should have been, because a woman is a helper, you should have helped to build that fa this family. You should have dragged them to the Babalawo house. You, you took them because 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 through 10, make it so clear that we should not take one and done that to the court of Gentile. This is a spiritual court of Gentile. This is a spiritual court of devils. You now drag the rulers of darkness, the principalities and power. You now drag uh, powers. You now drag this family to Babalawo, to Ajilala Sharan, to the other one. We don't know. To, uh, that one is another Ajilala, but now not in Benin. You now drag them to, to this evil kingdom. To do what? It is to unleash demons on them and verse 6 now said that is it not better you take blame to save these people than for you to take them to the court of gentile that is to take them to spiritual court of destruction okay your mother law said she was the one buffing your children fine but in your heart you know she didn't okay she buy, buy, bought good for you fine in your heart she did okay you were insulted well by when she said come and watch the toilet Fine, you know you did. You did not do anything of that. The royal law said, "If you were of this family, Genesis chapter one verse eight, he said, I will make him a suitable helper.' What does a helper do to support every weak point you see in people? You tolerate because this is your home for life. If it were be given to Abayawa, it should have been your home for life. You won't even bring this matter to social media, never." More of less, you don't call the daughter to come and be very wickedness against her own mother. What are you doing? You are instigating destruction upon the family. But the royal law makes it so clear. First Corinthians 6, verses 1 through 10 said, It would have been better you accept every lie she told on you if you were of Yahuwah, if you were one of that family, if indeed you were sent to come and build that family, if you were being given by God, this is what you should have been doing for that family. You shouldn't have been dragging them to spiritual court. You shouldn't have been reporting them to any Babalawo. You shouldn't have been bringing no Ajilala uh, book or uh, Ajilala uh, 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 whatever invitation to your mother or lay courses. You shouldn't have been doing any of that. You should have stood by the family and said, okay, I'm a helper. I'm a builder. I, I, I'm here to build these people. That is what heaven does. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Matthew chapter 10 verses 6, uh, 36 said, If enemy of a man begins in their, in, in the, in the household, remember from the testimony of Mama Lovett that Calvi went, no, excuse me, Michael went to go and visit her family in Genova. That is where they now gave her Mama Calvi. What are we saying? The enemy in the house handle uh, this family to the enemy on the street. Like I said before, I've, read, I've done this. Okay. A second child died mysteriously. Second child just passed on. Just like that. Huh? And how a family also make, you know, useless waste our effort. The daughter also confirmed that. That the family, we are, we are no good. Yes. Enemy of a man always begins 
in our heart. So Proverbs chapter 14, verses 1, make it so clear. A wise woman will use her own hand to build a house. He said, but the foolish one will use her own hand to destroy it. And you are a foolish woman. That is the reason why you are bling, bringing your family, uh, you know, whatever case, to the social media. This very second one that took place, you were the one who, inst who instigated it. But I said, this woman is not living before you. And when she indeed came to visit, that was how you, you people treated her. You did not prepare food for her. You did not clean her. You did not even, you know, prepare as if you are receiving anybody. If she was just nobody for you. Where but if your mama is coming, you know how you will prepare for your mother. If your close relative is coming, you will know how you will prepare food for them. Here are Ezekiel chapter 30 verses 18 through 23 make it so clear that uh, your spell won't work anymore. Abbe once said he's going to free these people from your bands of wickedness. He said he's going to break your yokes from these people. He said he's going to free these four people from your captivity. Whereby you enslaved them, whereby you create commotion, confusion, destruction in the family. A son disgracing, a daughter disgracing, our own precious one's mother on the public, giving our whole precious mother international disgrace. Whereby she herself confessed with her own mouth that they have never insulted their mother nor disrespect their mother until you step in into the family. The family will not turn upside down, they now begin to see each other as enemy. So, we are done for now. I still have one more to do. Papa Kevi, or let me be calling you by your name, Michael. You said, we that is telling you to go and apologize to your mother, that Ogun will buy people. Ogun will not buy them. If Ogun is going to buy anybody, it is this very demon, this ugly Mosheshe you join with. She is the one for Ogun to buy. She will buy in this matter in Yawas Martini. Is you no gay, no support with Yara. Look at your mama. Look at the way we were married. <laughs> we go who me not see woman see mama. You see how cute your mama is. Is you not supposed to tell you your daddy? Who are you going to be? Is you not going to be? You are She had her own mother. But you are you are beating your own for her. Kata. She is a devil. Eh? She is a serpent. Peg a rogue. Peg a who? Very ugly human being. Anyways, family, we are done for that. Thank you, Abba. I love you so much. So we'll do another one next week Tuesday. I think that will be the final one. Mm -hmm.